Hi to the constellation Draco the Dragon. Um, I'm apologizing right now because I am mono, so my throat's swollen, so if I'm mumbling, I'm really sorry. Um, I'll do the best I can, though. I kind of mo talk monotone anyways, though, so just bear with me. Um, I'm going to read you the two main myths I found about Draco. Um, there are actually a lot of them, though, because, I mean, with dragons, back in the day, like, people saw that as, um, like, a wicked beast, so a lot of the... Um, myths about him where him like doing evil things or just being evil in general. Um, in Greek mythology, Draco was a dragon that guarded a sacred spring. Cadmus' sister was kidnapped by Zeus. After consulting the oracle, he found that if he killed the dragon, who was the pet of Zeus, he would be able to get his sister back. Um, many went to fight the dragon, but were all killed. Cadmus used a spear or arrow symbolizing lightning a rock to defeat the monster. They weren't really sure what he used, apparently, because they just listed three different things that he might have used to kill him. Um, although at one point the dragon wrapped himself around the hero to weaken him. Cadmus killed the dragon, but since he was unable to find his sister, he was banned from returning home. Cadmus decided to consult Athena, who advised him to take the teeth of the dragon and plant them. The teeth turned into armies. With his army, Cadmus fought until all... <clears throat> were dead but five. With himself and the remaining soldiers, Cadmus founded the city of Thebes. Cadmus ended up marrying Her Hernonia. I'm really bad at pronouncing things, but um, it's H-A-R-N-O-N-I-A, so I'm assuming it's Harnonia, who ironically was Draco's sister. Um, when they grew old, they left Thebes to go to Illyria to die, and when they got there, they were transformed into dragons. Um, I thought that myth was kind of funny because basically Cadmus went to like go kill the dragon and he ended up marrying the dragon's sister and became a dragon himself in, in old age. Um, actually though, the myth that I thought was the most interesting out of all of them um, was where Draco was called Laden. Um, he was a dragon with a hundred heads in this myth who guarded the golden apples that were on the tree given to Hera who was queen of the heavens by Gaia, who was Mother Earth. Hercules became obsessed with stealing the apples, so after long deliberation, he decided he would try. He knew he couldn't do it alone, though, so he went to find Atlas to help him with the task. However, there was a small problem with that. Atlas was forced to hold the world up on his shoulders after being punished by Zeus. Hercules didn't see this as a problem, though, and he shot an arrow over the garden wall and struck and killed Laden. He quickly took the world from Atlas and hoisted it on his shoulders while he sent Atlas off to retrieve the golden apples. Atlas decided that he liked life without the world on his shoulders and tried to trick Hercules into holding the world by asking him to hold it a bit longer. Hercules agreed, but asked Atlas if he could get more comfortable. He begged Atlas to take the gold for a moment while he put on some padding on his head. Atlas placed the apples on the ground and picked up the globe. Hercules quickly took the apples and left without returning. Hera was so upset by the death of her pet that she placed him in the heavens where he could coil himself around the North Pole. Um, I liked that myth basically because <clears throat> I thought it was interesting and I thought it was funny how Alice tried to trick um, Hercules but was, I don't know, not very smart and Hercules ended up tricking him and he like left with the apples so he basically just used Atlas to get the apples. Um, I don't know, the constellation I thought was pretty interesting because it looked like a dragon. I could see, like, how many myths started about that because it's, um, very distinct the way it looks. Um, and that's it. I mean, the constellations that surround it are Hercules, the swan, Cepheus, the little dipper, the giraffe, the lynx, great bear, hunting dogs, and the herdsmen. Um, the coordinates are... The right assertion is 15H, and the declination is 75. Um, some interesting facts about this were that um, Alpha Draconis, also known as Thuban, and that's one of the stars. It used to be the no North Pole Star. It will return to being the North Pole Star, which I thought was kind of cool, um, but not until 20,364 A.D., um, of itself, Thuban is a binary star, which is a double star, um, must too close to be split. It is also a giant white star. 
more than 250 times more powerful than our sun. And I thought that was really neat, too, because you never really think of stars being that bright. Um, another interesting part of the constellation is Beta Draconis, which is located 360 light years away. Beta Draconis is also known as Rastaban, which means head of the serpent. It is a binary star. Rastaban is a G-type supergiant star. And then, finally, Planetary Nebula, NGC 6543, which is also known as the Cat's Eye Nebula, is very small but also very bright. Um, it is one of the most intricate nebulae. It was discovered by Win William Hirschzell. Once again, my pronunciation of things is horrendous, I'm sorry. On February 15, 1786 and was the first planetary nebula whose spectrum was investigated by the English amateur astronomer William Higgins in 1864. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, this is the first video I've ever done on my computer, so I'm going to try to put pictures in and stuff, but I don't know how well it's going to come out. <laughs> but thank you for bearing with me, and I hope you enjoyed my presentation. Um, and that's it. Thanks.